Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and with this channel we bring you guys a variety of tech related content. So if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video I'm going to show you how to copy the Noob software onto a brand new Ultra Micro SD card. Alright guys, so I'm using the 16 gig class 10 micro SD card by SanDisk. I paid $9.99 on Amazon and I'll put my affiliate link down in the video description below in case you're interested. So one of the first things we have to do when dealing with a brand new card is format it and prepare it to accept the noob software. So to do that I'm going to use a program called SD memory card formatter. You can download that from www.sdcard.org and I'll put the link to that down in the video description as well. For the purpose of this video, I've already downloaded the program. Now, I'll be doing this on a Mac, so I downloaded it for the Mac, but they also have the Windows version of the program here as well. Next thing we need to do is take the micro SD card and insert it either in the SD card adapter if your computer has an SD card slot. And if not, you can also use the USB adapter that came with the um, Raspberry Pi uh, kit, starter kit. So I'm going to be using the USB adapter. I'm going to insert the card in there, put it in the computer, and we'll get to the formatting process. Okay, time to format the micro SD card. I have it installed in the USB card reader that's plugged into the back of my iMac, and you can see it's mounted on my desktop right here. Next, let's launch the SD card formatter program that we downloaded in the last step. And you can see it automatically found the mass storage device, and that's the only option. We're going to leave it set to quick format, and I'm just going to give it a volume label, and I'll call it noobs for the purpose of this video, and click on format. You get the warning that basically says it's going to destroy all the data that exists on the card, and that's okay. Let's say continue. And there you go, guys. It's that quick and that simple. So next thing we need to do is download the noob software from raspberrypi.org, and I'll put the link to that website down in the video description below. When you get to raspberrypi.org, come over to the Downloads tab, and you can see here we have the option to download the Noobs software, so click on that. And you can download it as a torrent or as a zip file. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to download it as a zip file. So the download took about 20 minutes to complete, and I have the zip file right here on my desktop. So the next thing I'm going to do is double click to unzip the noobs zip file. And you can see now we have a separate noobs folder version 2.8.1. So all we have to do now is copy the contents of this noobs folder onto the micro SD card. So we'll just open it up. We'll select all and we'll just drag over to the micro SD card. Okay guys, so now that the copy process has been completed, the next thing to do is eject the micro SD card from the computer, insert it into the Raspberry Pi, boot it up and see if it was successful. All right, guys, I have the micro SD card inserted into the Raspberry Pi 3. I captured the startup process with my cell phone. If everything goes right, we should get the installer screen. And there you go, it's booting up. Things are looking good. And there you go, guys. There's the Raspbian installer, the recommended installer. Let's see if I could just zoom this in just a little bit so you can see it. 
So that about wraps it up for today, guys. A quick and simple guide to copying the Noobs software onto a brand new micro SD card for use in your Raspberry Pi. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out some of the other links to some of my other videos. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. And use those Amazon affiliate links. It doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. Thank you for watching. See you next time.